Trivessel? I've never heard of that. What is that? This is publishing credits, not production. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, there's QA again. And the top did say uh, Ubisoft. I really, I liked the art. That's what, that's, or, I can't speak right now. That's what first drew me to the game. Uh, when I saw it on Steam, I was like, ooh, I like the art. And then I was like, oh man, it's about World War One. That's got me sold. Oh my gosh, there's a doggo in it. Do I get to play as the doggo? I was, I didn't know if you actually could, and you got to be your friend the whole time. Stop slurping. But I really liked that game. That was cool. Very well done. Hey, you don't need to slurp. Man, I need to throw away that beanbag chair. I don't know if you guys can see, but these like little tiny white specks all over my couch are filling of the beanbag and dogs keep laying on them and bringing the beanbag bag guts everywhere. Got as part of Humble Bundle. It's not on sale on Humble Bundle, but I wouldn't blow full price on it. All right, I'll have to check it out. Vessel. There's a couple other story games that I'm looking at. Um, right now, anyways, um, the two other ones, um, from the people that did To the Moon, um, that Dragon Cancer, I don't own that one yet either, but that one looks really good. Uh, I keep hearing people tell me that I need to play Doki Doki, even though that doesn't feel like a, a linear storyline game, that feels just like a dating sim. Cool game, but short, good to know. But this was fun. I, I enjoyed this. Now, crap. It's only Tuesday. So now I gotta think of something to play for the next two days. I'll figure something out. I did. I did finish those, uh, the two minisodes. I, I was very confused at them. I don't know. They were just mostly, if I understood right, they were just some additional story for the two scientists. Nothing really kind of, and I think, I don't remember her name, the female scientist died at the end. And I think they were modifying her memory. Hey, young mamas. Some will not achievement. Mwah! Give kisses. Your face is all smooshed. No, 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 no. I love you. Scoot your butt. Scoot your butt. There you go. But yeah, um, oh, if you want to see those, by the way, um, those are also up on YouTube, Yuri, the mini-sodes. I don't, I don't remember if I broke them up into pieces or if I just broke them up into one mini-sode or one episode for each mini-sode. Sweet, I can uninstall you play again. I hate when you get a game on Steam and you go to run it and it's like, oh, you need another launcher. Oh yeah, I got a, got some screenshots from the game. Here, upload this one. This one can delete. I don't like that one. Come on, disc. Yeah, I got a, I got a couple of cool screenshots here. I, I knew I should have got a screenshot of the second tank that we were rolling around in. The big one. The allies tank. Cool. Done. Well, Rogue Legacy is an unending game, right? It's kind of just a... You can just play it whenever... Hey, stop! Stop. Mm-mm. I'm eyeballing you. And uh, I checked the, the Steam sale that's going on right now, the, the New Year's Steam sale. That uh, nothing really stands out right now. That's uh, like, there's a lot of stuff on sale and there's some stuff that has my eye, but nothing for the price that I'd want to pay yet. Although, Alien Isolation is 10 bucks, And I almost bought that. Why didn't I buy that? Oh, because I have other shit I need to pay for first. Because the government shut down to kind of push my priorities out. And I just bought Gloomhaven for 
uh, my friends and I to try to try out. I might paint those on stream or something. We'll find out about that. Actually, I should stop recording here for YouTube's. I don't have any hours in Plague Inc. for uh, the Steam version. I've, I've beaten that game on my mobile version. You think there's a final in Rogue Legacy? Like, you can actually beat it? I mean, I could, I could see it ending. But it also feels like a game that you can just keep throwing your body at. Over and over and over again. Check in Steam real quick. Hold on. I did get a notification that more went on sale today, and I don't think I ever checked. A couple of these I want... Um, it, whoa, Bird Stories is two bucks. All right. I think that one went down. I Oh, one I really want was um, Two Point Hospital, but I also don't want to spend, what was it, $30 on it. Where is it? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that's... Crazy sticking out here. Alien Isolation is 10 bucks. I'll keep thinking about that. I think the sale goes on for like a week. So I'll keep that one in the back of my head. Potentially doing, but I have so many other games I need to play. As it sits now. I don't need to keep buying more. <laughs> Astroneer just got fully released. Yeah, Two Point Hospital is 30 bucks still. Nah. Oh. Tomb Raider. Oh, the new Tomb Raider is half off right now. That's interesting. Yeah, nothing nothing too crazy stands out. There, Billions is fun. Yeah, that looks actually like a lot of fun, but that's still in early access. And that's also uh, a wave survival game that just like you can just play infinitely forever too, right? Frostpunk is amazing. Actually, speaking of Frostpunk... I think um, I might not have it anymore, but I got a uh, a coupon in Steam for Frostpunk for some reason, and I never picked it up. And let's see, uh, inventory. Don't care. Don't care. Yeah, I don't have it anymore, apparently. It might have been just a temporary... Um, yeah, I don't have it. Okay, it might. It was probably just a temporary coupon. That's a bummer. Frostpunk, I keep going back and forth on. I've watched some gameplay of it, and it's kind of like... It looks anger-inducing. <laughs> and uh, I was going to wait for them to make some other stuff. This is the police. looks super fun. Uh, Fragger was playing that, and I got a couple clips on it that cracked me up. Apparently, uh, This is the Police 2 is, uh, uh, really improved upon it. Must play City Builder. Might be more brutal than Banished. Ugh. See, that doesn't just sound, that sounds just annoying. It doesn't sound crazy fun. Like, I like having fun in the games, and... I like when things are difficult, but if it's to the point where like, oh, I just lost everything and I can't progress anymore, that kills the desire for me to, for, at least on stream. Like, because I'm, when I'm streaming, I want to feel like I'm moving forward with stuff. Playing solo, I, I can just be like, all right, well, I guess I'll start over for another time. Adam and Eve start on Banished. Uh, I kind of had an opposite thing on Banished. Uh, I had everyone die except a... I think it was a son and a mom. And, uh... Yeah. The, uh, the, the relationship repopulated the world, and it was gross. But it went down to two people, and uh, <laughs> it came back up. It was really gross. I don't know how it actually lived, because that many generations of uh, interbreeding is uh, going to cause lots of problems, and it doesn't in that game, apparently. I was messed up. The city was at 360 pop last you checked. You still running that campaign? Also, you know what? I should switch this. Keep it in the family. Yeah. Yeah, that was a uh, that was messed up. 
I think he was a son of mom. He was either that or his brother and sister. I don't remember. But, uh, I was just like, because I, I didn't know for the longest time. I was like, I have two people of opposite gender. We can do this. And then they hit age of where they could, like, reproduce. And then I finally checked uh, their lineage or their their family, whatever, their last name is. I was like, oh. Hmm. They both have the same parents. That was it. They both had the same parents. So they were brother and sister. And that was awkward. I kind of figured that <laughs> the game would have been like, nah, your, your settlement is dead. But it didn't. It's weird. Oh, you couldn't load the save anymore? Yeah. Mini Metro is fun? I think I own that, actually. Or it's on my wish list. I want to say I own it. I'm not sure. Or my buddy got it, because we were both looking at it. Him and I discuss games occasionally at work. I'm like, hey, this is a new game that looks neat. I'm sweaty. I'm going to have to take a shower. This thing is cooking me alive. But I need to eat, and I think this is a perfect time to end because I'm starving, and I was already tired before stream, and now I can actually go to bed earlier. I keep thinking if I'm going to change the stream schedule to actually end it uh, an hour early my time now because I feel like I'm getting old and I can't stay up as late anymore. I come home from work and I want to take a nap and I can't. Finally, like gunpoint, I haven't heard of that. But I know one game that I need to play is uh, the Half-Life series. I'd start with Half-Life 2 though. Half-Life 1 is ancient. I've heard uh, I've heard nothing but good about that series. Also, something that dawned on me today, which should have dawned me forever ago, is I had some games in my wish list that are like PlayStation and PlayStation 2 games. I have a PlayStation 2. Why don't I just go get those original games on PlayStation? That'd be awesome. So I was thinking um, Final Fantasy 6 VI and 8. I heard those are fantastic. I've never played them. Um... What else? I also have Einhander, which I own. No one knows that game, but that looks that could be a fun one off because I don't it's not like a storyline game. It's just a side scroller shooter thing that you just keep getting as far as you can. And there's kind of a story. But I think I only ever made I only ever made it to like the third boss when I played forever ago. Final Fantasy A is your favorite. That's good to know. Getting old sucks. Yes, it does. Um, Okami is another game I want to play. I've, I've heard nothing but good about that. Uh, Twilight Princess, I want to give another go at some point. Um, because that one, I just like turning into a wolf. It's super fun. Um, but I ch I'm finding myself steering away from anything Nintendo because they're sticklers when it comes to putting stuff up on YouTube. Um, what is, uh, I, I own Celeste. I picked that up because uh, that was on sale on uh, the Nintendo store. I don't know. I have, a, I have a lot of games I can take through. I'll have to put a vote up on Twitter or something soon. Preferred, preferred it on Wii. Yeah, I had it on the Wii. I, I just got tired of having to use the stupid motion controls all the time. And then I saw the ending and the ending pissed me off. So then I never finished it. Um, but it's been so long now. I, I can't even remember it. And it's not that the, necessarily the ending that pissed me off. It's what happened to Midna that pissed me off. Oh, fuck that. I don't want to beat this game anymore. Oh, I'm tired. Anyways, I think I'm going to call it here. I don't know if the, anyone else is joining you in chat, Yuri, but thank you so much for being here, man. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, thank you for those five bits. You are awesome. The doggies love it. Oh, JJ J just heard bits. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. Uh, but more importantly, remember to sp wow, Jada. Remember to spay and your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasive. Jada's trying to knock over my keyboard down here. And Mama's is leaving, of course. Thank you so much for tuning in with me, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Mwah.